It's review day, guys. New car day. <sighs> What is up guys, my name is Mark Senmario, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, we have a new Associated car. Team Associated, I know what this is, I've actually asked for this one. You guys asked for this one in my last video that I did a Team Associated review on. It's kind of strange. It's a strange vehicle. Boom! The Team Associated Monster Van MT12 Monster Series. I just got done charging a battery. Apparently it comes with a battery. Dang it. So this is the MT12 platform. I actually did a review on the MT8 and that, that's actually it. I wanted to do one on the MT10, but this is the MT12. So it's a little bit smaller. I guess it's 12 scale. It has a van body, which the van body looks really, really cool. It has a really, really cool paint scheme. It comes with a battery and charger. It's a monster truck. It has some pretty cool scale features to the body like the headlights and the rear view mirrors. I don't think the headlights light up, but this is cool. Looks like it's ready to go for only 220 bucks. Comes with battery, charger. Let's see if there's different colors here. Oh, here's all the features here. This includes 2.4 gig XP transmitter, which is pretty standard. A 380 motor, 850 lithium ion battery, chassis mounted steering servo. That's kind of interesting they put that on there. Metal front CVA axle shafts, metal four link rear, front and rear suspension, ratio three gear transmission with integrated motor mount, fully adjustable threaded fluid filled shocks. That's good, comes with the uh, oil already in there. Here's some more features here on the bottom. It says water resistant, black anodized aluminum radio tray. That's pretty cool. Spring loaded heavy duty servo saver. It looks like there's only one color. Anyways, let's bust this thing open. Let's see what we got. Ooh, look at this body, sick. Look at that. They got this thing packaged up really well. Oh, don't do this to me, Associated. I think they're gonna do it, guys. Sorry, no double A's. Almost fully ready to run. How do you even get that body? Oh, there you go. Nice. Look at that thing. Oh, my lighting sucks. So here she is in all her glory. The size is really interesting. It's kind of like in its own class. I don't know of any other 12 scale vehicles, but it's definitely not as big as 10 scale. These tires don't feel like they have foam in them, but they do feel rigid enough and firm enough where it's not gonna be a problem. As for a proper unboxing, it does come with your manuals and things like that. I gotta read these actually, cause I wanna know what other battery I can run in this. I know it comes with a battery, but it looks like it has a battery strap. So maybe you can run different batteries. Maybe you can run a LiPo, I don't know. I'll figure that out while this battery's charging, but it does come with an extra battery strap maybe for a bigger battery, some small Allen wrenches, a bind plug, your USB charger, 850 milliamp lithium ion battery, and then your XP120 remote. I really like this remote. It does come with some pretty good features. You can set your dual rates, steering and throttle, which is nice. It does not come with double A's, but let's see what the actual truck looks like. Oh man, I called it a truck, it's actually a van. It kind of looks like a crawler with the chassis rails. Very, very neat, very clean. Comes with a Dean's connector. These shocks feel good. You can tell there's oil in them and it sounds like they filled them up pretty good. Very, very nice suspension. Now the front is really stiff compared to the rear, which I guess that makes sense. Look at these axles. These axles are massive. <laughs> For such a small little van, those axles are massive. Let's see what it looks like under it. Dude, it totally looks like a crawler, but there's the four link suspension. Here it is in the front. There's your servo. Very crawler-esque for sure. All right, let me get this battery charged because I want to rip this thing.
sudden. All right, something really weird happened. Basically, we went up in the tall grass and it cut out like it was on low voltage or something like that. Yeah, it was strange. So I didn't charge this battery with the USB charger. I charged it with like a normal charger because my charger can do lithium ion batteries. Maybe I charged it too fast and it false peaked. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to run this again, but then we're gonna run a 2S battery because it says that it can handle 2S LiPo and it also said it could handle 3S LiPo. Could be bad, but we're gonna do it anyways. All right, we're running the sucker on the stock battery again. I just turned it off and on, and it looks like it has its pep again. We're going to see if we can get it to go in that lipo cutoff thing. It, it felt like lipo cutoff. There it goes. It did it. Look how slow it is. That's full pin. Yeah, there's definitely not something right with that. I think I false peaked the battery. I know I said that a million times, but that's my bet. All right, this is on 2S. Oh, yeah, it's much peppier. I will say it's... Whoa! It's definitely much pep, whoa. I think I can save this thing. I think I can do it. I can't do it. Yeah, it feels way better. I think you just gotta run this thing on 2 s light and get it over with. So I believe on, whoa, jeez. I just slammed in the curb. Ooh. It definitely wants to traction roll, body roll a lot, which it is a monster truck, so that is expected. All right, let's see if it can do, it can do some reverse wheelies. Let's see if we can do some front wheelies. Does some, <laughs> does some one wheel stuff. All right, guys, now the moment everybody's been waiting for. The manual said it can handle 3S. It says it's a crawler ESC and can handle 3S, so, I mean, someone's got to do it. All right, here it is on 3S. I don't expect good things to happen here. Oh, it's not like ballistic. Whoa, it's not like ballistic. I thought it was going to be like blowing the tires off. Uh-oh. It did like a cutoff thing. So this is on 3S, but it did that cutoff thing. Like it took off down the street pretty fast, and then you heard it cut off. I mean, it's not hot. I don't know, guys. I'm confused. Oh, whoa, look how washed out I am. There we go. All right, so the verdict's in. I did fix all the battery issues, by the way. It was definitely low voltage cutoff. I didn't charge the battery all the way up. I basically put the stock battery on the USB charger and let it charge overnight, and it ran flawlessly. I ran it for about 15, 20 minutes. No problem, no low voltage cutoff. And then I did confirm that the 3S battery I tried to run it on did hit low voltage cutoff, but it's because the ESC has such a high low voltage setting, which is good. It doesn't damage your batteries, but that's why my day went really bad yesterday. And as I always say, when you're having a bad RC day, just stop and try it again tomorrow. But today is tomorrow and today went great. So this vehicle is perfect for a new enthusiast. Like this is a perfect car for maybe a kid's first car son, nephew, niece, daughter. But I think if you're an enthusiast and you already have an RC car, I think it's gonna leave a lot to be desired. It's not crazy fast and it doesn't handle crazy well, but it does handle like a monster truck. And I say that because if you're like a monster truck enthusiast or a crawler, I do see a good case for you to pick this up. Because the chassis is based on a crawler chassis and it has straight axles, I think this would be a really cool project car if you're one of those enthusiasts that like to do really, really cool builds. I think you can let your imagination run wild and build something really cool out of this thing. I mean, in regards to the quality, great quality. I didn't break it. I did jump it off a little ledge. Granted, I landed in grass. I didn't beat it up really bad. I don't think this is a car that you just want to send off the roof of your house. Build quality looks great. It's strange because although the market is probably for a beginner, the car is not built like a beginner. It's built like a like an intermediate scale enthusiast. I mean, part of the reason why it's not crazy fast, it is using a 380 motor. Maybe you could put some type of brushless motor and make it super fast. But again, I don't think this is designed to go crazy fast. I think it's perfect for what it has. And I think it would make a great Christmas gift for someone who doesn't have an RC car. Another cool thing you could do is maybe you could do a skin on this body, make it like a Scooby-Doo van or something like that. I think that would be sweet. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.